Hello folks and welcome back. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to all you beautiful, awesome people out there. We are making this video right here, <clears throat> excuse me, for a couple of members in my Discord community um, as an instructional video for them for how to control NPCs in the War of the Walkers mod for 7 Days to Die. So what we're going to do is we are going to create a new game um and we're going to title it uh let's see here um npcs um uh, npc controlling okay now what we're going to do is we're going to make that not listed right at the moment so people can't just run and jump in and all that because this is just for a tutorial purpose and stuff like that so we're going to go ahead and fire that up just a standard little old map and then i'll uh get in dev mode and then i'll spawn in the necessary things to show you the viewers how to control your uh map or not map uh but your npc uh people and stuff like that and also just a uh share a little uh nice little uh gift for you lovely viewers and stuff like that my niece is happened to be here in the stream as well and she's going to be watching me to see how uncle chief does the video editing and all that stuff so we do have a special guest today um and we're just going to call her niece that's that's her name niece well it's not really her name but we're not going to tell y'all her name but her name is we're going to call her niece, but she is a special guest today on today's stream, and she may ask some questions on how this does and stuff like that, how I go about doing this. So definitely, we want to welcome her to the uh, the uh, stream today as well. So niece, if you want to tell the audience hello and all that stuff. Hello, viewers. <laughs> Yeah, so she's going to see how Uncle Chief does video editing and processing and all that good stuff. So it's going to be a learning experience for her as well. <coughs> <coughs> of course, you know, I'm going to start coughing. I'm going to start sneezing. And you know how it is. Just a typical Monday morning, even though it's Sunday for everybody. Well, I don't know. It depends on what part of the world you are. For all my lovely Australian viewers, it's probably Monday in your part of the world. So, and I also want to take this time to wish everybody a beautiful, happy, awesome Easter holiday, uh, whether you celebrate it or not, you know, that's, that's okay, you know, still happy Easter holiday, nonetheless, uh, so, yeah, well, we're going to do this little video, and we're going to uh, uh, teach and show you how to control your NPCs, how to hire them. And stuff like that um, now what I think we're gonna do is we're probably going to find a building and we're gonna just spawn a bunch of NPCs in the building and we're going to close the building off so that they can't run around all over the map on us and all that stuff so we kind of have them in like a little box area to where we can hire them and just all that stuff so give you just one sec uh, niece has a question that she would like to ask what's that niece? No, kidnapping does not apply in Darkness Falls or War of the Walkers or Seven Days to Die. No. Is it technically holding capture? Nope, nope. They will be glad to work for us because we'll be paying some mad monster coin. So she wanted to know if would that be technically called kidnapping. Kidnapping does not apply in Seven Days to Die for all the y'all that play Seven Days to Die. It's a thing. <clears throat> so. So we're just going to wait for this bad boy to load the game. Uh, for those of y'all that have not played War of the Walkers 7 Days to Die mod, it's it's a pretty awesome mod. I've been playing a co-op play with uh, Malza, and I've been really enjoying the playthrough and stuff like that myself. Um, one thing to uh, make note on is it's kind of like Darkness Falls mod. When you load it up, it t takes a minute to get into the game and get it loaded up and there may be a time where the computer might seem like that it has frozen up <clears throat> excuse me but i can assure you it has not froze up it just takes a minute to process you know and if, if, if i'm running a 
12 gig a uh, 12 gigabyte graphics card 64 gigabyte of ram and an eight terabyte virtual ram drive and it takes me this long i can promise you folks that it will take you just as long if not longer those of y'all that are running on a lower end computer <clears throat> so all right now you first come in the game you have your standard little menu that pops up uh you got your little thing up here on the top right and all that stuff this this is the tells you about the mod and all that stuff we're going to go ahead and click continue on that click continue on that get that out of the way we don't really care about all this stuff right now because this is just a test game to show y'all so i'm going to go ahead and hit my f1 key and then i'm going to type in dm which is a debug menu for those of y'all that don't know and then i'm going to go ahead and type in cm which is for creative menu or creative mode all right now what i'm going to do is i'm going to hit the q key on my button that's going to turn me into god mode and that will allow me to fly around now what i'm going to do is i'm going to fly around to a town uh real quick and find a uh building there we go well there's a little house over there uh so let's fly over there to that real quick and then my niece has a question that she would like to ask okay uh for those y'all that didn't hear what uh she asked she wants to know what a debug menu is so we're going to get over here to this little building right here and we're going to show her what a debug menu is real quick um but in layman's terms a debug menu um is a menu that allows for developer type tools for a game now i'm going to push the press the h key and that's going to leave me in god mode but it's going to drop me out of fly mode um and to show y'all that and to show niece what debug menu means i'm going to hit the escape key now if you look over here niece and for the rest of y'all when you type in debug menu it opens up these options right here and also allows for the teleporting of two POIs. POIs, for those of y'all that don't know, is just short for points of interest. That's what POIs mean. Okay. Now, for those of y'all that are wondering what creative menu means, let's just hit our tab key. And in this mod, it literally says creative menu right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to give ourselves a few things to work with right off the bat. We're going to get our nice little lovely uh pistola right here we're gonna click on the little eyeball right there we're gonna get us a uh level six then we're gonna go back in here we're gonna get us one of these bad boys we're gonna get us one of those bad boys we're gonna get us where is it at there it is we're gonna get us one of those bad boys we're gonna get us one of those and one of those um and then we're gonna get us some bullets to go with that now the uh red tip or the high powered is the best uh ones to use in the game then we're going to click on this bad boy and then we're going to mod it folks and we're going to throw our lovely uh little mods on it maybe if i can find out what i've done with it there it is there we go so we're going to go ahead and beautify this beautiful little pistol oh oh all we can do is just put four mods on it that's okay we can make this work all right now we got that bad boy Let's go ahead and load it up. That way we can get serious with it. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Now, <clears throat> what we're going to do, because we are in debug menu, that will allow us to pull up the F6 key on your keyboard. And whenever you press that key, you have all of these beautiful little options right here. Okay. Now, we are going to look for um now my uh playthrough with um um melza i have a nurse and i'm looking for the nurse in here that way you know we can just kind of keep things the way we are so we got a, a nurse shotgun a nurse with an axe a nurse with a bat nurse with a club nurse with a pistol nurse empty-handed uh let's get the uh nurse with a uh um 
Yeah, look at a rock with it. All right. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, go ahead and spawn in some coins for us. Uh, let's see. Dukes. And we're going to turn on the dev blocks. Uh, we're going to deselect that, and then uh, it'll show us the dukes. All right. So we're going to throw some of that in our inventory. We're going to go find our little nurse friend that we just... I swear that's John Wick's daughter. <laughs> All right. Nanny, come here. All right. Now, you just walk up to the NPCs. If they're not firing at you, that's a good thing, okay? Because that means that you can hire them in this mod. So you just walk up to Miss Nurse Nanny right here and just tap the E key, and it'll come up with this option right here. It says, I am interested in hiring you, or never mind. Well, we want to pay her because I actually have one of these, which um, was kind of cool right off the bat in... Uh, Mine and Melza's co-op play, we came across one of these, and I happen to have right at 4,000 dukes. That's in-game currency. So we're going to go ahead and accept her. <clears throat> and so I've been running around with one of these in our co-op play, which is kind of cool. I mean, she'll follow you around and all that stuff. Well, actually, yeah, she'll follow you around, but just to make sure that you follow her or she follows you around, just walk back up to her again, and you can hit the E key and go ahead and left-click on Follow Me. Okay, and she'll follow you around. Look at it, and I promise you guys, she will follow you around like a boss, and she will John Wick some Z's, I'm just telling you. All right, now what we want to do, there she is. See, look at her go with her bad little self. Now, if you notice, she's taking off running up the hill. She'll come back, I promise you. But what we want to do is we want to add some command features to her. So what we're going to do, we're going to go into our tab menu, our create, and we're going to go right here. We're going to type in NPC. You will have these three options right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to click that one. We're going to craft that. We're going to craft that. And then we're going to craft that, okay? And then we're going to drag that down here in this order. And just put them at the end of your toolbar down here. That way they're not in the way and you have access to them. You don't want to leave them up here in the inventory because it would be too cumbersome to uh, do that. All right, so we can go ahead and clear our little search field right here. <clears throat> All right, now we have three options. Okay, we have help, which if we go over here, look at Peter Cottail running down the cotton trail. And we left click on uh, the help and whistle. She will come and help us out. Okay. She'll, she'll run up to us. Okay. It doesn't really work while she's engaged in spanking up there. Now, what I want to make special attention for you is the mode button. If you left click on the mode button, you should hear a voice. Threat control. Threat control. <clears throat> All right. Now, what that does is she won't just run up the hill like John Wick just doing her thing. But if a zombie or a predator gets in within a certain, say, about from her to me right now, then she'll engage that, that threat. If full we press it again and it says full control, she won't engage unless a zombie literally hits me. So we'll we'll go test that out real quick and we'll show you. Okay. Of course, there's not going to be no zombie on the map because we're trying to do something here. Oh, you know what? I know there's something in here. So let's go ahead and uh, get our pistol ready because I know there's going to be some booger bears in here because I actually come across this very POI. Um... And a screamer pinned uh, both me and my nurse down. Okay. So now she is not going to engage until he, she either gets hit or I get hit. Okay. That's whenever you're in the uh, full control mode. Okay. Now we're going to left click on the mode button again. Hunting. Hunting, she's going to go rip ass and just chase them down now, like she was doing before. Okay, now we're going to we're going to tell her to stop. And she's going to get over there and run the crack rock off, and then she's going to kind of settle down and stop. 
Um, let's go ahead and threat control. put her back on threat control. I like threat control because it keeps her close. If they come near us, let's see how he's right there. She's right there. All right, now. Um, she should go attack him here in just a second. Okay, she's done. Let the crack rock wear off of her. Come on, nanny. Full control. Okay, well. Hunting. There we go. She's hunting. Threat control. All right, there you go. She's had just a little technical issue. She's still on the crack rock. Nanny, get off the crack rock. Okay. <clears throat> now, what you can do. Also, we can walk up to her, hit E. Um, okay, so it kind of, we're hitting E and it ain't working, so something went wonky. Let's, um, go ahead and, there we go. Now, can we hit E? Nanny, nanny, can we hit E? Okay, so something went a little janked up and all that stuff, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and exit real quick and reload the game real quick, <clears throat> and that should clear that out, okay? Um... I'm not sure exactly what happened. The game had a hiccup. You know, and keep in mind the NPC mod, it, it's still a work in progress, but it does function fairly well for it to be a work in progress. I have to admit that. So we're going to go ahead and reload the game real quick, and that should clear out whatever happened to her. I think whenever I told her to stop, I think that uh, might have had something to do with it. That might be some type of little bug that, they may be aware, they may not be aware of, but it didn't happen until after I left, clicked on the stop button. So we'll uh, we'll destroy that that button, just you know, in case it is a bug with it. Uh, it's going to take a, a minute to load back in here and all that stuff. Um, usually after you load it one time, it doesn't take long. All right. Yeah. See. All right. Now you can have patrol around here. We're going to have our patrol around here. And she's just going to go and patrol. If she gets hit, she'll uh, sort it out. Full control. Threat control. Full control. Hunting. Full control. Hunting. Full control. Hunting. Threat control. There we go. We got it right. All right. So I think these might have a little bug on them. So we're going to go ahead and get rid of this one. We're going to go ahead and scrap that out. Bye. Um, and we'll just move these over here. We'll just worry about those two. All right. So what she's doing, she's actually patrolling because we set her on patrol and she's got the, uh, the threat control. That way she doesn't wander off too far, and she'll stay in this general area. Now, if we go ahead and let's whistle for her. We're going to whistle Dixie. Come on. She'll run back to us. Well, she won't really run. She's kind of like on guard duty. Now, if we run back up to her and we hit the E key, then we can tell her to guard here. Okay? And she'll stay there, and she will guard that area, kind of like a... Um, a gun turret and stuff like that okay and she'll any zombie that comes up around her uh she will address it and stuff like that matter of fact we could probably spawn a uh let's uh go ahead and go back into debug menu and let's go into f6 and we're gonna spawn a um uh let's see i know we got a zombie somewhere around here uh, let's see. There we go. Now, she should, uh, engage that zombie on her own. So, we're just going to kind of come over here and hide in the bushes. <clears throat> but, yeah, she should. Oh, we was on the run. Full control. Hunting. Yeah, 
Maybe we need to have her on honey when we do that. Okay. And then uh, we'll go ahead and put her on follow me. And then we'll move out of this area because this area may be a little janked up. Look, y'all. It's Bambi. That's, that's dinner. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and uh, try the Threat again. control. Full control. Hunting. All right. We're going to put her on honey. And then we're going to put her on guard here. And then we're going to spawn some zombies. Let's go ahead and spawn some zombies in. Let's go ahead and do that again and test her again. Uh, let's see. Let's have a Darlene. Let's have a Carl. All right. Okay. So, yeah, she's working now. So, what you uh, what we just learned is that you got to put her on um, hunting and then uh, put her on guard. And then she works better like that. Okay. Um, we're going to go ahead and threat control. put her on threat control. And then we're going to go ahead and have her follow us. Come on, Nanny. Follow us. And then we're going to go ahead and mosey on down the road. Look at that pig. That's bacon. Woo! Come here, bacon. Bacon. Come here. All right. Uh, but so that, uh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, um, that is how you do the... Uh, NPCs and stuff like that. Is you gotta hire them. Um. Hey, you. Uh, come on. Full control. Yeah, I think they're still uh, working on the uh, control commands and stuff. Hunting. Threat control. Yeah, I think they're still working on that stuff. But, guys, we're going to go ahead and um, end this episode right here. And, as always, happy gaming. And we'll catch you in a new stream. And hope you, uh, I hope this uh, video helps those of y'all that are wondering how to control them. What? You really? You, you? Full control. Threat control. Get them, Nanny. Get them. Nanny. Nanny. Really? Really? You just taking it? Here, I'll save you. you. Got a little sword of that. All right. But anyhow, guys, uh, we'll catch you in the next episode. And as always, happy gaming.